Welcome to the installation video for the Dell EMC Unity Management Pack for vRealize Operations. In this session, we will be reviewing the following. System compatibility. Creating a least privileged user. Installing the Management Pack on vRealize Operations. And configuring the adapter instance in vRealize Operations. We'll first want to start by looking at the product documentation. So we're going to want to go to docs.vmware.com. We'll go ahead and search for a true visibility suite documentation. And we'll go ahead and we'll select that top link there. On the left, we're going to want to look for the management fat pack for Dell EMC Unity. We'll select that. And then on the left, we're going to want to select the system requirements. We can see the versions of vRealize operations that are compatible. We can see the Unity versions that are associated and compatible, as well as Unisphere, the default ports, what we're connecting to, and the least privileged user, which is a read-only and operator role. So creating the least privileged user. So we're going to want to log into the Unity Unisphere. We'll go ahead and log in. And then on the right, we're going to want to select the gearbox up top or settings. And then we're going to want to go on the left there and select users and groups. We'll go ahead and hit that plus. And then we're going to want to select local user. We'll hit next. And then we'll create a username. So we'll go ahead and use tests and we'll put in a password. We'll confirm that password. and hit next. We'll go ahead and we'll select that operator role, which has read only access. Click next. We'll verify the summary. And then we can go ahead and hit finish and it'll start to create that role. We'll hit close. And now we can see that test account as an operator role. It is a local user. We'll go ahead and click close. And now we can log out of the system. So configuring the management pack into vRealize operations. So we want to go ahead and log into vRealize operations using an admin or an admin associated account. We'll go ahead and we'll select the administrations tab up at the top. And then on the left, we'll select repository. We'll want the management pack to be downloaded prior to this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll down and select add upgrade. Now we're going to hit browse. And we'll go ahead and look for that Dell Unity pack file. Once we find it, we'll select it and we'll hit open. The two check boxes are associated with an upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and bypass those and we'll hit upload. We'll hit next. We'll agree to the EULA. We'll hit next. And this will begin the installation process. The install process can take several minutes as a heads up. Okay, we can hit finish. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to configure the management pack. So we'll go to other accounts. We'll select add account. And now we're going to look for that Dell EMC Unity icon. We'll select that. Name is arbitrary, so we'll go ahead and put Dell EMC Unity WDC. We're going to want that Unisphere, right, IP address or host name. We'll put in creds, so the cred name is arbitrary. Dell EMC Unity creds. And then we're going to want to associate it with that account, so that test account. And then, again, we're going to want to associate that with the password. We'll hit OK. In the advanced settings, we can see the default port and we can see any SSL configurations and we'll go ahead and we'll validate the connection here. We see that the test connection is successful, hit OK. And now we can go ahead and we can add the adapter instance. Once added, uh, typically it'll be in a warning state. So we'll hover over that warning state. Um, it's just a starting collection. It, it takes a little bit of time. 
Um, so seeing that's not uh, abnormal, we'll go ahead and refresh. And now we can see that it is in an okay status, which is what we wanna see. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to your VMware representative.